Getting started with Range Wizard is easy. I'm going to run a pre-configured report and show you how you can use Range Wizard to improve your poker game. Before we start, Range Wizard uses a smart help icon in the top right that will explain what screen you are currently looking at. Let's get started. In HM3, click Apps, then Enable Range Wizard. In PT4, click Poker Tracker Apps, then Range Wizard. While you can create custom reports in Range Wizard, I'm going to click and use the pre-configured report Winners vs. Losers for this video demonstration. Range Wizard will now populate the player's view with the top 20 winners and losers in my database based on hand counts. The 20 players is a variable that you can change in the settings menu. Once Range Wizard is done compiling the data, click the Whole Cards tab here. The left whole card heat map displays the top 20 winning players and the right displays the top 20 losing players based on hand counts. You can filter these heat maps by position, action, or how the heat map is calculated. If you want to add an action that's not listed, just click the three dots here to add a stat. Let's go ahead and add the cold call stat, then click apply. Obviously, the winners never cold call with aces or kings, where the losing players do cold call with those hands. The show dropdown allows you to select how the heat map is calculated. Range Wizard defaults to the weighted hand range, and that's the one I like using because it estimates the hand ranges based on hand counts and gives you a clear representation of the data. Click the tooltip here to learn more about the different ways to calculate hand ranges. The Show Differences checkbox is a great way to quickly see the differences between the two groups of players. Red is saying winning players never really cold call with queens through aces, but the green for the Broadway cards is saying winning players do cold call these Broadway hands more than the losing players. Let's head over to the Stats tab now. Here's where things get really interesting. On the left are Stat Groups and Stats. If a stat isn't here that you want to look at, right click any stat and click edit stats. Now you can add stats and groups of stats to the stat tab report. I'm going to review the CBET stats now. When stat numbers are bolded, that means there is a big difference between the stats. When you click an individual stat, Range Wizard loads a graph for the stat with the stat range. Then the medium stat percent is displayed in the middle of the graph line. Blue represents winning players, and they don't see bet as much on the flop as losing players, but once the turn and river hit, winning players see bet much more than losing players. Now, that's just one stat that we reviewed. You can review over a thousand different stats for the two groups of players. Range Wizard is an incredibly powerful tool to analyze groups of players side by side. Start by using one of the many pre-configured reports. Then create custom reports where you can analyze various poker playing styles side by side. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the tables.